Hello, and welcome back to Abstract and Flow. So, for today's video, we have a huge canvas. So, I use some Artezas. This is uh, orange yellow. Artezas yellow green and I mixed a little bit of uh, titanium white to lighten it up a little bit because it was more of a um, like a lime green color that we were I was going for artist loth uh, this is light blue hue no just light blue the oxide purple by Liquitex And Amsterdam's copper. So those are the colors that I've incorporated in this pour. I will have them listed in the description box. Um, of course, I use um, two to one ratio uh, with Floetrol. But for this mix, I also added about an ounce of Liquitex uh, Gloss Medium. So, my paints were leaving a mound on a mound. So, let's see if I can show you that. There we go. And I did the little, um, like a run test. Where you take each color and you plop a color, each color on a sheet. Then you hold the sheet up and let it run. And that's a way that you can test the consistencies of your paint. Because if they're all running or flowing down that sheet at the same pace, you've got a good uh, mix of consistency. But let's say you got, you know, four or five colors and three are running evenly and two are not. Those two that are not, you can add... Um, a little bit more flow troll or a little bit more water to get the consistency consistency even with all of your paints. So that's one way that I use to test the consistency. So we're gonna get right into this pour. And by the way, that was your tip. Got to said I was going to give you all some, some incorporate some tips into my my pores for the beginners so write that down that's how you check your consistency of your paints okay so um, I showed her a couple of different um, pouring styles and she indicated to me what she wanted. So we're going to do um, several ring pours. And over here, it's going to be more of a solid type color. Over here, more colors intertwined or incorporated. Uh, the ones that I showed you at the beginning of the video. So, let's, um, oh, let's get this started. I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. Fingers crossed. Hope you can see everything. Um, but here we go. Uh, so we're going to see one here.
Okay, so here we go. And this this particular um, one, I wanted more of a solid solid color with just a hint of some orange so I'm hoping that's going to show up really nice when I start to move everything around so the next one you want to put right here. And today I was able to score a couple of gallons of Floetrol. I don't know if you all have noticed or if you all have had any issues, but there was a bad batch of Floetrol going around and that stuff was, oh my God. It was smelled so, so bad. So, luckily today, I was able to go to my local hardware store. And they actually had eight bottles of it. And I was able to get I didn't want to be greedy, so I only got four. I got four bottles. And um, they didn't have any, um, any crazy smells. So I was happy about that. Okay, so our third one. we're going to put over in this corner and this one is a mixture of those two so here we go with our third you know I might do half here and half here we'll see and probably this one is going to get get tilted off. We might be able to see some of it on the corner. No, I'm going to just go ahead and put the whole thing. Okay, I need to get a little better at ending, but I'm going to leave that little squiggly line because it might do something crazy. We might need to, need to have that detail. Okay, so let's, uh, let's torch these before we get to moving around. I think so far so good. What do you think? So we're 
going to put a little bit of a buffer so that they will have something to move around to. Right. Here we go. I um I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous because this is a lot of paint and I spent a lot of time mixing this up. And um, we already know I don't like to waste. I don't like being wasteful. So you all got your fingers crossed out there for me. And I hope you all are saying a little prayer that this turns out really nice for this client. Here we go.
Okay. Okay, so I had to put a, put you on pause because um, the paint was not moving because I needed more um, I needed more flow for the paint to move on the sides. So I had to make up some more paint, some more white paint to do that. And I also wanted to incorporate um, a little bit more orange. So I think I'm going to pour I can see what I'm doing. Let's see if that helps us move a little bit further. She wanted green, so I wanted to make sure I got some green in there that you could see, because I really couldn't see any green. Okay, I am back. This is the finished product. Um, this took a lot. And if I had kept the camera on, this video would have been over an hour long. So, what I ended up doing was doing a few more, um, a few more, ring per, ring, uh, tree rings, Lord, I can't even think, a few more tree rings. Because um, that first tree ring I had on there just wasn't looking right. So I had to mix up some more paint, added a little bit more orange, and um, 
um, a little bit more of the light blue and then I came down the middle with this purple stream um, and that green that I threw in it kind of morphed into this kind of like lightning bolt strike um, I think the client will like it I really do I like it so um, sorry I couldn't show you the whole process but this was a beast a beast of a pour but this is the finished product and I'm happy with it so thank you for spending a little time with me I'm going to go take an ad video because my back hurts you all have a lovely day Stay blessed, stay safe, subscribe, like, and comment. Bye-bye.